hi guys welcome back to la Densa crochets if you're new to the channel you're welcome my name is liz kindly subscribe and join the family in this tutorial we're making this granny square patchwork short i'll be extending this into pants and once you've gotten the the idea with the short you can go on to work the pants without the tutorial so once you're able to attach the the squares you can go on and continue attaching the squares until you get the length of the pants but in this case i'll be illustrating how to make the shorts so for the shorts you're going to need two measurements that is the die measurement die measurement is this measurement from on one side so you're going to get this measurement then you also need the 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 full measurement of your shorts the other measurement you'll need is the the fly measurement so let me show you this is the thigh measurement mine is at 11 and 11 multiplied by 2 is 22 that is when my work is not stretched when i stretch this out it goes up to almost 14 but i was working this for a thigh measurement of 26 which is 13 multiplied by 2 then the fly measurement is this measurement from your waist up to the pattern of your legs and mine is at 10 without stretching when i give this a bit of a stretch it goes up to 12.5 then you'll need the full length of the shot and for the full length you don't stretch so my full length of the shot is 17 and i'll be working the pants up to around 38 so get the measurements and let's get into the tutorial i'll be using a medium weight yarn which is 100% acrylic it's called winter king and this is a kenyan brand and i'm using these two shades of green then i'll need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook a dining needle two stitch markers a pair of scissors and a measuring tape i'll start with a granny square like this one in this shade so what you need to do is we begin with a magic ring and to create the magic ring we start with a slip knot then chain four after the four chains insert the hook in the first chain and do a slip stitch right there and we're going to create this gap which is our magic ring that's why we're going to insert our stitches then to we begin row one by chaining two and that's our first double crochet then yarn over insert your hook into that ring yarn over pull up a loop so that you get three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through the remaining two then we're going to place another double crochet so that we get three double crochets in that ring next we're going to chain two go back into that ring with three double crochets again chain two back into the ring with another three double crochets chain two again and go back into the same ring with another three double crochets so in total you should have four clusters of three double crochets so that is one two three and four we complete row one by chaining two and then we do a slip stitch on top of the chain two right here do a slip stitch and that completes row one chain two and turn to begin row two that's our first double crochet so into this chain two gap we're going to place two double crochets so together with the chain we're going to get three double crochets then chain two go back into the same gap with three double crochets and 
and we call that a three double crochet shell stitch then we're going to place a three double crochet shell stitch into each of these remaining three gaps then but then before we get into this gap we're going to chain one then get into the gap and place a shell three double crochet shell stitch so one two three chain two back into that gap with another three double crochets one two and three then chain one and skip to the next gap place a shell chain one and place the last shell into the last gap to complete row two chain one and do a slip stitch on top of the beginning chain two stitch right here then chain two turn to begin row three now in that immediate gap we're going to place only two double crochets then chain one to get to the first corner so this is the first corner the second the third and the fourth and we're only going to place the shell into the corners these gaps that are not in the corner will only get three double crochets so after chaining one we get into this corner and place a shell that is three double crochets chain two three more double crochets chain one then we move on to the next gap after placing that shell into the next gap place only three double crochets chain one skip onto the corner and place a shell chain one place three double crochets into this gap chain one another three double crochets into this into the corner we're going to place a shell that is so place three double crochets chain two three more double crochets chain one skip on to the next next gap and place three double crochets only three double crochets because that's not a corner chain one into the last gap which is a corner place a shell there chain one and slip stitch onto the chain two to complete row three chain one and cut off the yarn then pull through and fasten and we are done with our first square i'm working my top in size small to medium and i did a total of 16 squares if you're doing a bigger top then you're going to need more squares so these are my 16 squares and they are what i'm going to join to get the top so i'm going to grab the next color then begin with a slip stitch slip knot i'll begin with a slip knot then get one of the squares into one of the corners we're going to connect the green yarn any of the corners it could be anywhere so connect right here 
then chain two go back into that corner with a shell so place two more double crochets to make three then chain two and go back right there and place three more double crochets next we're going to chain one skip over to this gap and place three double crochets chain one three double crochets into the next gap chain one we get into the corner and place a shell there chain two go back into the gap and place three more double crochets chain one three double crochets into this gap chain one into the next gap three double crochets chain one and that gets us to the corner we place a shell there so three double crochets chain two three more double crochets chain one into this gap three double crochets chain one three double crochets into the next gap chain one shell stitch into the chain two gap chain one into the gap three double crochets chain one three double crochets into this gap chain one complete the row with a slip stitch onto the chain two gap on top of it chain one and cut off the end pull through and fasten for the next square we're going to we're going to get the next square start with a slip knot connect the yarn onto the onto one of the corners chain two place two more double crochets right there so that together with the chain we get three double crochets chain one get the first square on one of the corners right here put your hook through like this and do a slip stitch right there then go back into this chain with three double crochets into that corner and that completes the shell on that corner of the second of the second square so they are joined at the corner part we're going to move to the next to the next gap right here so insert your hook into that gap just like this grab a loop to slip stitch then we move over to this next gap and place three double crochets into that gap then 
then onto the first square in the next gap insert your hook just like this grab your yarn and do a slip stitch then you're going to get to the next gap and into that next gap place three double crochets make sure that your yarn is not loose we get into the next gap of the first square insert the hook and do a slip stitch and that will get us to the last gap of the second square place three double crochets into it chain one go into the last gap of the first square insert your hook slip stitch get back to this and place the, the second three double crochets to make the shell at the corner and right there we are at the end of the joining so then we continue all the way around to this part same way we did on this other side so now chain one into the next gap three double crochets chain one three double crochets next chain one shell into the corner for so three double crochets die measurement and to do that i'll get my measuring tape and stretch out my work a chain little two. bit and when i do three double i'm going to get to simple. 11 inches and I'm working a thigh measurement of 26. Chain one. Therefore, I'm going to join the three double crochets until to I this get gap, to the 26 the inch mark. A shell into the corner, three double crochets here, and three double crochets here. Then I'll meet you at the end. At the end after chaining one slip stitch on top of the chain two chain one and cut off the end pull through fasten and our first two squares are joined you can just pull this part to ensure that it is in shape then we're going to get a third square and connect it the same way we've connected the second then as we connect the squares we're going to measure and ensure that we are approaching the And this keep joining the squares until you get your die measurements and stop before you finish the last one so that i can show you how to connect it 
to the first one to complete a round. So I'm working a measurement of 26 of 26. And each of the squares is about five inches. Let me show you. When stretched slightly. So if I'm measuring one of the squares like this, it's past it's around 5.5. And I've joined six of them. Ah, five of them, sorry. I've joined five squares, which will should be able to give me my 26 when I stretch slightly. Like this. So now I'm going to connect the the last square with the first square. So what I do is work three double crochets into the corner. Chain one, turn my work this way. This is the wrong side. I'm on the right side. So when we are connecting, we don't we do not connect directly like this. We connect. From the right side this way so do a slip stitch right there go back into the corner and place three more double crochets then we get to the first square and slip stitch into the next gap get back to the last square do Three double crochets into the gap that follows. Then slip stitch on the other side. Then three double crochets next. Slip stitch into the next gap on the other side. Three double crochets into the corner. Chain one. Slip stitch into the corner of the first square. Get back into the square that we are working in the corner and place three double crochets. Chain one, complete the square. At the end, chain one and slip stitch on top of the chain two. Chain one and cut off the yarn. We're done with that round. You can measure again to confirm that you've hit your measurements. So this should give you half of the by measurement mine is 26 divided by 2 which is 13 and we are at 13 right there if we stretch more we can get to 30 but we don't want something that is too tight now we're going to work another row below this so i've done five squares i'll get five more squares then i'll connect them one at a time Begin with a slip knot. Get one of the, get one of the squares. Connect the yarn in the corner with a slip stitch. Chain two. Go back into the corner with two double crochets to make three together with the chain. Chain one, get one of the corners right here, slip stitch into this gap. Go back 
go back into the corner with three double crochets slip stitch into the next to the next gap of that square get back into this other square with three double crochets into the next gap slip stitch next three double crochets into the next gap slip stitch three double crochets into the corner chain one slip stitch at the corner right here go back into this corner with three double crochets chain one and complete this square all the way around to this part so into the next gap three double crochets when you get to the corners you place a shell and keep going to the end I'm done with that square, so I'm going to get another one and attach it here. So for this one instead of attaching into this corner we begin into the corner of the first square that we've just attached at the bottom so right here slip stitch there then go back with three double crochets into that corner Then we're going to attach till we get here. I'm at the corner and so I chain one and to reconnect this fourth square on this corner we go right here so on the square that is on the alternate side is it alternate or opposite opposite side so slip stitch there then go back into the square with three into the corner with three double crochets
Then now we we attach on this side till you get to this corner. Once you get to this corner, we continue to the end of the square. Once you get to this corner, we're going to start attaching the fifth uh, square with the first one. And we begin by attaching in that corner. So this is what we have. And now you want to ensure that one side of the fifth square and one side of the first square are joined. So I'll go back into that corner, into that corner, into that corner and place three double crochets. This is my last square and then I'll go into the first square in the next gap and slip stitch as usual. So you want to make sure that you're creating a round and that means in the last square we are connecting in three sides instead of the two that we've been doing for the others. So now do three double crochets into the last square in the next gap. Then slip stitch onto the gap that follows on the first square. Get back onto the last square in the next gap and place three double crochets. And then after that, we're going to slip stitch onto the gap that follows on the other side. So now slip stitch onto that other side. Get back onto the other square. At the corner and place three double crochets i'm going to get the other squares and attach them the same way i've attached the second and i'll meet you in the fifth Chain so one, once you attach the fifth go one into the last corner of the first square and this point do not continue i'll meet stitch. you back there to show you how to complete then get back into and this square that you are working into the same corner and place three more double crochets into that corner Then from this point, we're going to chain one and continue to the end with three double crochets into every gap separated by a chain one. So chain one, move into the next gap, place three double crochets. Chain one and slip stitch onto the first chain two. Pull through chain one and cut off the yarn. And at this point, we are done with round two. I'm at the corner of the third row and we're not going to close this up. We're going to leave that part open. So instead of attaching, like we've attached in row two, we're just going to chain one. Not chain one. Yeah, not chain one, sorry. We're not chaining one. Because we've not done the shell, we just go back into this shell and do three double crochets.
so if we were closing up the round we would slip stitch onto this gap but we're not going to do that we're going to chain one and complete the square from this point leaving that space open Slip stitch at the end, chain one and cut off the end. And now we have the third round. Although it's not complete, we leave it open like this. Now we're going to attach a fourth one and we want to begin from here and it should also be open. So we begin from here, go all the way around and leave it open at this point. So I'll go on attach uh, attach my squares for the for the fourth row. I'm done with the two rows extension, and I've also gone ahead to weave in all the ends, and we have one leg of the shorts. Now you're going to make another leg completely identical to this, which I've already done, and I'll show you a little bit of how I weave in the ends in the granny squares because it's a bit cumbersome. So what I do is I check the ends that are close to each other, like these ones. Then I move one closer to the other using my darning needle. I'll just move this close to the next one, to the other one, like that. Then I tie them together into a knot. The first knot is not too tight so that you do not interfere with the, with the work. So just make the first knot loosely. Then you make the second knot tightly. Then a third knot that is tight. And then just cut off the yarn, but don't cut too close to the to the knot because there is no harm in having these short ends on the inside part of your of your short. Then I'll grab these other ones, move one closer to the other. like that do this on the wrong side of your shot then tie a knot with the two ends that's not too tight then the second knot make it tight and make the third one tight then just cut off the yarn leaving a small tail don't cut too close to the knot and do that to all your all your ends once you're done we're going to connect the two the two legs together to form a short Now, once you have your ends weaved in or cut off, just turn your work to the right side.
hold it like this one leg like this so that the open sides face each other like this then we're going to get stitch markers and mark so we're going to mark the middle stitch on one side with the middle stitch on the other side then so that means the bottom sides we are joining them together the upper sides we're also joining them together so i'll also mark on at the end of each square so right here at this square at the end of at this begin ending and the beginning of that square and on the other side mark and mark on the top parts And also mark right here you actually don't need you, you can mark on the top yeah mark on the top but the corners of the squares then now we are going to connect the two pieces from this part all the way through the middle to the top part i'm going to use single crochets for this connection so i'll just get my yarn and the hook reconnect it on this first corner right here put the hook through and through to the other side grab the yarn reconnect it like that chain one then go back into that corner with a single crochet then we're going to work in between the stitches so in this in between this double crochet and the first double crochet on the other side do a single crochet don't make this the single crochets too tight the next double crochet and the other one in between and in between the one at the back single crochet we get to the chain one gap and into that gap we go through the both gaps and do a single crochet go in between the next double crochet and the next double crochet and do a single crochet this is what you'll have on the right side i'm working this from the wrong side of the short like you can see i'm working on the inside part now this is what you're going to repeat all the way till we get to the top so then I'll go in between the next double crochets and on the other side and single crochet. As I do that, I'm working over this end. That gets me to the chain one gap and into that chain, single crochet. Then now repeat to the end. When you get to the stitch marker just pull it out and into that gap at the corner of each of the squares place a single crochet then continue with a single crochet in between the stitches
from next to this stitch marker so i'll just pull it out then in between the stitches as usual So this right here is where the stitch marker was so ensure you place a stitch in at the at the middle part before you move on to the gap on the other side this one right here and there then that gets you to the double crochets and you work in between them let me show you what you, we have so far so now this part is joined we are moving on to join the other side so i'll just join to the top and i'll be back I'm in the last stitch in the corner, so I'll just single crochet there. Chain one. Do not cut off there. The two legs are now joined into a short, but as you can see, the top part is too wide. So we need to do a ribbon for the waist. So we begin from where we've ended. I've already chained one, so I'll chain two more one more to get to then i'll go into this gap right here and place one double crochet so this part the whole of this should have three double crochets so i have one double crochet one double crochet here the third double crochet will be here as we come to the end of that row then i'll skip over to the next gap and place three double crochets so now we are working the double crochets without chaining the next one will get three double crochets. So that's three double crochets, three double crochets, three double crochets. So three clusters of three double crochets. Then the next gap gets two double crochets. We are reducing the stitches in order for this to fit well. It will be able to stretch and fit, fit onto the waist and through the hips. So now we get to this gap and this gap should get three double crochets in total so we're going to have one double crochet right here one double crochet in the middle part and one double crochet on the other side like that then the gap that follows gets three double crochets The next one gets three double crochets. Then the next one gets two because we have one, two, three, then two double crochets. We get into the connection part and place three double crochets in that part. So one double crochet onto this side, one double crochet into the middle and one double crochet onto the other side get you to the next gap less three double crochets three double crochets into the next gap we are doing this from the right side of the short remember that then the next gap gets two double crochets 
So now this is a pattern that we're going to repeat till we get back to where we've started with the double crochets right here. So into this gap, into the connection part, one double crochet on one side, one double crochet into the middle, one double crochet on the other side, then three double crochets next. Three double crochets next. Two double crochets. Now keep repeating and I'll meet you at the end. Now I've come to the end and right here I was supposed to work one double crochet at the end. So place the one double crochet right there and then slip stitch on top of the chain two. And there we are done with row one of the ribbon. This is what we have. We begin row two. Begin row two by chaining two. Then we are not we're going to skip this stitch then yarn over go into the next stitch and do a front post double crochet so go in between the chain and the double crochet like this then around the double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's a front post the next stitch will get a back post so yarn over go into this gap and go around the next double crochet yarn over and pull up a loop pull through two pull through two the next stitch will get a front post this one right here a front post double crochet the next one will get a back post double crochet then a front post a back post front post back post and repeat this to the end of row 2 I'm in the last stitch not in the last actually I'm in the second last the last one gets a front post then we slip stitch on top of the chain two to begin round three so now let me show you how this looks like this is what we have so far then to begin round three we're going to chain two 
and then we are in the front post so that front post gets another front post double crochet sorry then the back post gets another back post so basically we are placing a front post where there was a front post from the previous round a back post where there was a back post and we're going to repeat this to the end then we're going to work row four and row five same way so i'll go on work my five rows then i'll be back and show you what to do next So at the end of row three, you're just going to slip stitch on top of the, it's around actually, at the end of round three, you'll slip stitch on top of chain two, chain two, and then work round four, then work round five. I'm at the end of the fifth round and I'm just going to slip stitch on top of the chain two, then chain one and cut off the yarn and you're done with the ribbing of the short or the pants because you could be making this into pants too. And now this is what we have. It still can't fit the waist and therefore we're going to work a drawstring and attach it to the to the waist part so that we are able to draw the waist together and it fits perfectly. To work the strap or the drawstring, I work with two strands of the yarn and chain 200 beginning with a slip knot. You can chain between 200 to 300 depending on the length that you want. So I'll just chain my 200 chains. I have my 200 chain so I'll just cut off the yarn at that point pull the yarn through and fasten then get the yarn needle or the dining needle and put the strap through then get the front part of the short So this right here is the front part now beginning right here we're going to start weaving the the strap onto the waist and this is what i do there is no specific specific way of doing this you can do it however it works for you 
and just pull and go all the way around the waist So I skip more rows on the inside, more stitches on the inside, one stitch on the outside. So like one stitch, then three on the inside, one on the outside, three on the inside, like this. So then we have the strap in place and this draws the waist like that. Now we do a knot at the end of the straps. Then cut off, not too close to the knot. Ensure the knot is close to the stitches. Then there's a knot at the back, uh, there's an end at the back which I'm going to weave in inside the stitches. Then cut off whatever remains. Just going to make a knot on the waist part. So I'm going to do an extension on both legs to get a pant, but this is where we end for a short. So if you don't want the pants, you want the short, then you're good to go. You can even work the short to this length. It doesn't have to be the length that I've worked. You will work it depending on the length that you want. So thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like, a comment, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's been of help and you want to gift me in a special way, click on the thanks button and I'll appreciate you a lot. See you in the next one. Hi guys, welcome back to La Densa Crochets. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome. My name is Liz. Kindly subscribe and join the family. In this tutorial, we're making this granny square patchwork short. I'll be extending this into pants. And once you've gotten the, the idea with the short, you can go on to work the pants without the tutorial. So once you're able to attach the, the squares, you can go on and continue attaching the squares until you get the length of the pants. But in this case, I'll be illustrating how to make the shorts. So for the shorts, you're going to need two measurements. That is the die measurement. Die measurement is this measurement from on one side. So you're going to get this measurement. Then you'll also need the 
the the full measurement of your shorts the other measurement you'll need is the the fly measurement so let me show you this is the thigh measurement mine is at 11 and 11 multiplied by 2 is 22 that is when my work is not stretched when i stretch this out it goes up to almost 14 but i was working this for a thigh measurement of 26 which is 13 multiplied by 2 then the fly measurement is this measurement from your waist up to the pattern of your legs and mine is at 10 without stretching when i give this a bit of a stretch it goes up to 12.5 then you'll need the full length of the shot and for the full length you don't stretch so my full length of the shot is 17 and i'll be working the pants up to around 38 so get the measurements and let's get into the tutorial <laughs> 